Pan painkillers make this test kit go negative when you are HIV positive. There is a story in Kenya that is told that if you are HIV positive, if you take painkillers, and for this example, they say if you take Panadol, that is paracetamol, if you take Panadol and you are HIV positive and you do this HIV test kit, this test kit will show negativity as it is right here. Whereas you are HIV positive and by hiding your HIV status through taking painkillers, you end up showing results that are negative. Okay, let me break it down to you like a simple class 2 children, right? This test kit is conjugated here. It is conjugated with antigens of HIV. So, your body, after it has been infected by the virus of HIV, produces antibodies. So, antibodies are fighters. They fight the HIV virus. So, this test kit is made in such a way that when blood or serum, blood or serum, when blood or serum is placed here, it's this test kit is checking for antibodies, right? So let me give you one characteristic of antibodies. Antibodies are specific. Antibodies fight infection. Antibodies are specific to the antigen that caused them. Antigens can be bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasite or whatever right so antigens are specific uh, antibodies are specific the other characteristic of antibodies antibodies can be memory cells they are stored in your system as memory such that in future if you have the same infection your body will just go to memory re repro repopulate repopulate the memory cells to fight the infection so this test kit is conjugated with an antigen, right? A HIV antigen. So what does it test? It tests for antibodies, okay? So one characteristic of antibodies is not like antigen. You know antigen, we can, we, can, we can give you medication and eradicate an antigen out of your system. But an antibody, we can never, we can never take out antibodies out of your system. Because if you are having HIV is constantly in your body and your body is constantly fighting, your body is constantly fighting the HIV virus. Okay? So even the most effective therapy, antiretroviral therapy, does not make this test kit turn negative if you are positive. <laughs> All right. ARVs only reduce the viral load to undetectable levels. Here comes viral load. Viral load is the amount of HIV virus in your body. Right? If you had 10,000 copies and you're taking your ARVs correctly, the ARV protect your CD4 cells from being attacked by the HIV virus. So now that, if HIV requires the CD4 cells to survive, that's the simplest I can explain here, CD4 cells to survive. So, if the, C the CD4 are protected, the virus cannot survive on its own. So, the viral load comes down to undetectable levels. The virus load, I did not say antibodies. So even if your viral load is to undetectable levels, painkillers or ARVs will not make this test kit go negative because this test kit tests. This test kit tests antibodies. And I've said this test kit has three parameters. It ha it is it has its main function is like this. It has it is conjugated with antigen, specifically the HIV antigen, HIV one, HIV two, right? So this HIV antigen, when they meet with the antibodies, with the HIV antibodies that are very specific, 
they are able and then there's there's uh, uh, the aspect of chromogen chromogen is color so it is the color here that helps you know that there is a reaction or there is no reaction so kenyans out there who are being lied or anyone out there because i have found people listening to me from zambia my Zambia people, how are you doing? My Zimbabwean people, my Nigerian, my South African people, do not be lied that any form of painkiller will cause this test kit go negative. It is a myth, it's a lie, and you should not believe it. So, here comes the question of that I tested with my boyfriend, I tested the HIV with my boyfriend, he was negative, then after three, four months, he turned, I turned out to be positive. And he is not positive. Now, let me tell you, you must have messed up somewhere. Remember, for HIV to be positive in this test kit, it takes approximately three months. I will gather. So, before those three months are over, this test kit will not show any positivity. But if you are using ELISA test, even three, four days, it will show positivity. So just look at your sex life. Look, where did you mess? Where, did, where would you have contracted this HIV? Because there is no way, unless that person was on window period. And I doubt when someone, if someone is on window period, the available load is too low. But if they, they can, I think there's a probability, yes, but what I'm saying is if someone turned out to be this kid negative, it's not because they took any painkiller, any form of painkiller. I am 100% sure they are just negative or maybe they could be on their window period. So stop being lied. Don't peddle those lies on social media. They are untrue. And there's nothing like a HIV carrier. If you are a HIV carrier, you are HIV positive. This test kit and painkillers have no relation. Any question you have, comment down below. I will handle it. See you on the next one. My name is Dr. Gomba, a certified medical laboratory technologist. If you want your HIV results interpreted, I'll be here.